Hi, I'm Chris and I'm here to talk about continence, uh, spillage of urine and faeces here with Jean today. Mm. How are you, Jean? I'm fine, thank you. I brought a couple I'd love of, to see what you've got there. I've got a couple of sample mm. products with me here. Um, of course, this isn't the right size. Mm. This is um, a sample product that can be put on mm. the chair to stop urine leaking onto your chair. It'll save your chair. Don't need that. Um, this one here is floor protection. So if you're getting up out of bed um, and you're in a hurry um, and something's coming away and mm. it's running down your leg, it'll run onto here. You can take this one outside, hose it off. Hose it off. Um, and I've also You're got more some... more interested in that one you have on your bed. Yep, so this is one bed product we've got. It would mm -hmm. be the width of your bed, um, but just sits on top of your bed. Mm -hmm. It'll absorb all the wee. It will save your sheets, so you don't have to wash your sheets. You can just take this one off, wash this one, mm -hmm. hang it on the line, dry it, pop it back on for night time. That one might move around a little bit, whereas this one... This we've one got, I think would be a better one. Yeah, well it's got mm. some wings and it can be tucked in mm. under the mattress, so if you move around in bed a lot it will mm. stay a lot stiller. That would be a better one, thank you. Um, I've also got some pad products, so we start off really small if you've got just a bit of light leakage, mm. um, and even if you've got a little bit of faeces that sneak out. Um, moving all the way up, to the bigger products. <laughs> There's also a... The panties are a good idea. Yep, so I these are... Much of that one. These are um, just a, a built-in pad into the into the pants. Um, just oh, yeah, that's rip off the sides mm -hmm. and throw it out. Mm -hmm. and these ones are sort of more if um, you're a bit less mobile, um, unable to get out of bed, um, you can pop this one Add on and one wrap it around. Your neck. Probably would too. The other thing is too is we don't want uh, close contact of mm. faeces and urine with the skin. It acts as a, it's acting as a bit of an irritant to the skin. Um, so there's a, a su supply of creams oh, that you can, can you buy. Put it your private parts. Yeah, so you can mm. just rub it onto your skin. There's mm. also a barrier cream which I haven't bought with me today. Um, that you can you just pop on any oh. red areas just to protect the skin a little bit. Very good. Yeah. So I hope that's been of help for mm, you. Well, it was helpful, thank you, my girl, but I like that one. So now that that's all finished, we're just going to go into the bedroom now and um, see how to use a commode. Thank you. Um, so this is our commode chair that we use beside the bed. You can get this from Palliative Care. Um, before you use it, you want to make sure that you put all the brakes on. So you just push those down. Okay, and then... These can move for ease of transfer over. Um, to turn the brakes off again, you just push them down again, which makes the commode move again. Um, it's got a bit underneath here. So take it out, um, makes it easier to clean it um, and put it back in.